Do you feel like sugar controls your life? In this video, I will cover the five ways to stop sugar cravings for good. Do you know why we crave sugar? An alarming statistic shows that the average American woman consumes about 48 pounds of sugar per year. That's a lot of sugar. And that can lead to increasing waistlines, heart disease, and other health consequences. Now let's look at why we crave sugar. The number one biggest mistake sabotaging our efforts to stop those sugar cravings can be hunger and poor diet quality. When we're hungry, we don't crave chicken thighs and carrot sticks. We crave refined carbohydrates and sugar. And that is because sugar and carbohydrates are a quick source of energy that quickly enter our bodies and make us feel good temporarily, but not in the long run. What we need to be doing is adding other macronutrients like healthy fats and proteins that help keep us fuller longer. And why is that? It's because protein and fat take longer to digest, so you actually feel fuller longer. So by combining the carbohydrates with a healthy fat or protein, like let's say a bowl of Greek yogurt with some berries or a handful of nuts with an apple, will actually help sustain us and keep those sugar cravings at bay. Leave a comment below if you feel like you crave sugar when you are hungry. The second reason we crave sugar could be because of nutrient deficiencies. If we are lacking certain nutrients in the body, we tend to crave sugar. For example, if you're craving chocolate, you might have a magnesium deficiency. Magnesium brings energy into your cells. So if you don't have enough magnesium, you will crave that sugar in order to be able to raise those energy levels. The third reason why we crave sugar could be because of habit or conditioning. So we might crave sugar after a meal because it's now become a habit. When we crave sugar, a hormone in the body is released, which is called dopamine. And dopamine makes us feel good. So because we want to feel good, we've associated eating a meal and then eating something sweet right afterwards in order to feel that good feeling. Hit the like button below if you feel that sugar cravings after dinner have now become a habit. So the fourth reason why we crave sugar could be lack of sleep. So what happens when we don't sleep adequately is it actually triggers ghrelin, which is a hormone that controls hunger in the body, and that tends to increase. Leptin, which is the appetite, appetite suppressing hormone, is decreased. And another hormone called cortisol, which is our stress hormone, is actually increased. So the imbalance of these hormones can actually lead to more sugar cravings, which is why you crave that tall, sweet mocha chino latte in the morning after a night where you haven't been able to sleep well. The fifth reason why we might be craving sugar is because of stress. So if you are craving a big bowl of ice cream after a hard day at work, it might be because of low serotonin levels. Now, serotonin is a hormone in the body that actually helps regulate mood. So when you are stressed, these serotonin levels are low, which actually helps trigger these sugar cravings. Diets rich in sugar actually help improve mood, which is why you crave sugar. So now that you know what causes sugar cravings, let's review the five things that can stop those sugar cravings for good. The number one way to stop those sugar cravings is to stop starving yourself. Stop going on these calorie restricted diets. Eat regularly. Learn to combine your macronutrients, add healthy protein and fats to your carbohydrates in order to feel fuller longer and it'll kind of curb those sugar cravings. 
The second way to stop the sugar cravings is to really listen to your body. Are you really craving sugar? Are you maybe hungry? Are you thirsty? Are you bored? What is going on? Really trying to listen to your body and giving it what it needs might be a better way to tackle these sugar cravings instead of eating sugar. The third way to stop those sugar cravings is to get adequate sleep and good sleep. An average adult requires seven to nine hours of sleep per night. And you don't want to be waking up in the middle of the night because that kind of sleep is disruptive and does not help your body rest. And getting that good sleep, you are suppressing the um, stress hormone cortisol, which actually leads to those sugar cravings. So please consider good sleep hygiene, like shutting your screens, which emit blue light, one to two hours before going to bed. Consider taking a nice, soothing, warm bath with lavender salts, sipping on decaf chamomile tea just to get you in the mood, or listening to soft music with dim lights in order to get you to sleep faster and to stop those sugar cravings. A fourth way to try to stop those sugar cravings is to try to manage your stress and focus on a healthy lifestyle. Try to live positively and to surround yourself with positive people. Try to exercise regularly to get those good endorphins, those hormones, those feel good hormones that make you feel great into your body. Try to meditate, journal, and do things that help decrease your stress. This will definitely help decrease the cortisol levels that are making you crave that sugar. A fifth way to stop those sugar cravings is to divert your attention. So when those sugar cravings strike, try to ignore them for a moment. Try to do something different. Go out for a walk, call a friend, read a book, knit. Maybe go to your local pool and take a swim. Try to divert your attention and you might realize that after 10, 15, 20 minutes or even half an hour, those sugar cravings will subside. So understanding why you crave sugar and using these five strategies to get you to crave less sugar will actually allow you to manage your overall health, your waistline, and will make you ultimately so much more happier. To learn more about how I can continue to help you stop the sugar cravings and improve your overall eating patterns, press the link below and drop your email address in order to stay connected and to receive my weekly newsletter with great content like this. Seriously, do it. It will change your life.